Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have one of our favorite, favorite, favorite videos to film. Yeah. This is a viewer box all the way from the UK. We cannot wait to crack it open, see what's inside, see who it's from. Yeah. Let's go. tell you what it's been a while since we've had a viewer box the last one we had i think was matthew and monica yeah and that's been a while so we're super excited about this yeah and then out of the blue we went and there were two two and then we heard from one of you that sent the other package that there was another one on the way so yep. we're super excited to always receive things from you never feel like you have to but it really really makes our day not only do you send things that normally we just love but it's nice to see what you choose for yeah. us to try instead of us it's a lot to navigate all the food in the world and mm -hmm. you know try to pick and choose what we think we should try so anyway it's fun to receive these and even more fun to taste what's inside we're going to crack, crack it, it open and see who it's from. That's right. Well, John, does that, I should say, hello and welcome. Hello. If you're new, or hello, old friend. If you're not, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel while you're here visiting. And make sure you hit the little bell. Ding. So that you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every day. We just never know how many, what time. So, okay, let's see who it's from. Yes. Let's be polite and see who it's from. It's from Philip in London. Hi, Philip. Okay, we're going to cut and read the letter. We'll be right back with you. All right, Philip in London, thank you so much for spoiling us, Rotten. So much goodness here. But so glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> we're heck excited. Yeah. Oh, speaking of London. We just found out that our local, one of our local high school marching bands yeah. is going to be in the London New Year's Eve parade or New Year's Day. I'm not sure. I think yeah. New Year's Eve. Either way, let us know. If it's no. New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. But if you go to that or watch it on TV, uh, look for Davenport Central. They'll be in red and blue. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. That is exciting. That's where both Wish of my we kids, were going. That's where both of my kids graduated from and I was like... Hmm, that'd be that'd be nice to go and watch the marching band, but yeah. not right now. But anyway, cheer them on for us if you go. Yes, we got lots of stuff here from Philip. It's wonderful. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's see. We always start with the crispiness. Yeah. So, uh, should we do the pork scratching? Sure. Let's do those first. So we understand both from comments and from Philip's note that these are different than what, what we, we have. Get. We get pork rinds, which are yeah, I don't know, a relative <laughs> of pork scratches. Yeah, they're they're airier and drier, you know, fried basically. Whoa. And we tried some pork scratchings before. They were kind of soft and squishy that you guys had. And Ooh, they I was smell like, good. Uh, I don't know. Well, the thing is, is we didn't know that's how they were supposed to be. Exactly. <laughs> now that we know how they're supposed yeah. to be, then it's a little we were, different. We were expecting dry and crunchy and crispy. Right. And then it was like, yeah. whoa. Let's go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. He said in the note, and I've seen in the world, that would go good with beer. Yep, for sure. Man, would that go good with beer. Mm-hmm. So, there are a lot crunchier bits in there mm -hmm. than we're used to, and then there's softer, softer. bits mm -hmm. that we're not used to. So, it reminds me of, if you've never had these before, and here's the thing, sometimes when we describe things, we get comments about that doesn't taste at all like that. And it it may not, but 
we can only liken it to things that we've tried and had and whatever. There's a bacon-ness kind of oh, about it. The flavor is good, yeah. All right, so we're back with paper towels in hand. We were not prepared. Uh, so these are very different than what we're used to. Ours are light and airy and crispy. Let us know if you have that kind in the UK as well, or if these are so popular that you don't even see the kind yeah. that we get. I'm so right. curious. We, I don't think, carry this kind anywhere in the States. No. that I've seen. I, I don't know, it's hard to describe it, but the flavor is like bacon. It's meaty and savory and- Would go great with a beer, like yes. uh, Philip suggested, yeah. Yes, and the aftertaste, you know, in my mouth right now, it tastes like I just ate bacon. Right, right, very s similar as far as that feel in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this brand is Alf Turner, and it says, family butchers for three generations so yeah. you know the ones that we get in the states are kind of based off of the mexican chicharrones so uh -huh. they're airier and lighter and like kind of crispy and crunchy like some of the crisps that you guys get yeah and this says it's in support of help for heroes i don't know what that means but maybe when we're done i'll look it up or maybe some of you can let us know in the comments but we're, we always love when brands take some of their proceeds or whatever and try to help a good cause. So Absolutely. love that. Um, now in this box was also some things that we we're very familiar oh, yes. with and couldn't wait to get our hands up. We should also say that Philip was so kind and give, gave us duplicates of a few of these yeah, things. Probably yeah. one for you, one for me. Yeah, and we've separated some of those out. So we can just enjoy them later. So there were multiples of these. Oh yes. I love that. Hello, old friend. Smith's bacon fries. Speaking yeah. of bacon. We love all these bacony flavor things. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, the smell of these. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Good job, Smiths. We love the mmm. Perfect, perfect salt on it. Those are amazing. Super, super crunchy. Yeah. They remind me, if you're in the States, the crunch is kind of similar and the texture is kind of similar to um, Sun Chips. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Which I love. And they're bacon flavored. I mean, how can hello? you go wrong? <laughs> That's right. Those Delicious. are amazing. And Very it's good. super salty. The bacon flavor is on point. We've said before, sometimes we've had bacon flavored things that come off like dog treats. They're like you would imagine, <laughs> imagine dog, dog treats to be. Treats to be. <laughs> These are bacon, like on the nose. You can tell that those are bacon. Amazing. Definitely. Amazing. Great job. All right. Now these are Burton's Fish and Chips lashings of salt and vinegar. Remember when we were little babies to the UK culture, we still kind of are, <laughs> and UK terms for things, we didn't know what lashings meant, or yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was talking about a crisp buddy and talking about lashings of butter. And yeah. Oh, speaking of that, we need to save some bacon fries oh, cheers. for that purpose. Ready? Cheers. Mm-hmm. Love that. Not only does it have the salt and vinegar taste, but these are so buttery. Are... Yeah, these are a cracker mm -hmm. instead of a crisp, if you've never had these before. And they're powdery on the outside, kind of like a um, the chicken biscuit crackers. Mm -hmm. They kind of remind me of that. Yeah, chicken and a biscuit. Yeah. Uh, the the it's the same vibes yeah but a little bit different flavor oh, those delicious. are in different size and whatever but amazing that's the closest yeah. thing that i can imagine like in america that we get that's like that yeah wow Ooh, yum All we right. always love the chips crisps crackers crispy bits yeah, in we love things it all, that we try that are international now it's a game of tough choices 
Mm-hmm. How, well, here's how I rank them. Interesting. And it's not love and hate. It's love, 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 love. I don't know. And it's not even that. It depends on my mood. Yeah. We're not drinking now. And, you know, we're not drinking, I should just say. And uh, that makes me want to have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. It does. I mean, I feel like this is the perfect accompaniment to a beer. Mm -hmm. um, I like those very much. These... That texture and the flavor, everything was just spot on. And this, I could literally open the bag and put the whole thing in my mouth. They're good. Look how cute they are with their little tiny bags. I know, look how small <laughs> they are. We need a pillowcase of that. That's right. Um, all right. I'm actually, I, I've never been one to really love salt and vinegar flavor. I've, I've kind of been a latecomer to that. I've been you a know. bad influence. Yeah, again. bad influence. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing I think w that I'm ever gonna put number wow. one as a salt and vinegar. Over bacon. Over the bacon. Yeah. Wow. Those like little crackers were so tasty. We are due in the universe for something either really really bad or really really good. <laughs> There's an upset somewhere. Whoa, in the universe. something's wrong. That's awesome. All right. Notice. Uh -huh. Go to John's side. All right, cool. Let us know in the comments, Philip and viewers. Let us know which one of those, if you tried them all, is your favorite. Okay. Right. Now you want to try something with nuts. Uh, oh sure. There's a couple, just a couple things. Yeah, just a couple things. Um, topic. We have tried one of these bars before, but I tell you what. By we, I think you mean you. Yeah, me. Um, it's been so long. I forget what it's like. I can't wait to try it. I think I really, really like this. I think you did too. Mm. What kind of nuts mm -hmm. is it? Hazelnuts. Mm. Mm. Hazelnuts. Mm -hmm. This reminds me, and I think I've said it before, of what we call a Mars bar. In the states okay except our mars bars have almonds in it this has this is like a milky way in the united states but with hazelnuts in i've it. never had a mars bar never had a mars bar oh my gosh i love them i mean when i was a kid when i could eat nuts i ate peanut butter cups almost exclusively <laughs> the thing is i haven't seen them around in forever yeah and so what i was gonna say is i think by the time i had a more like elevated palate or was more of an adventurous eater then you weren't eating then nuts. I then I could eat nuts yeah, yeah. okay um, okay should I just go on with sure. the other this is Cadbury dairy milk fruit and nut go ahead and get your nut snacks out of the way let's get the <laughs> nut snacks out of the way dairy milk though those are always good that makes my mouth water just thinking about it what is in this one uh fruit and nuts I mean, I don't know exactly. Let's see if it says the classic creamy taste. That's it. I still dream of that dairy milk bar that we had at that time. I think, I don't remember. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't remember if it was in a viewer box or this with them box, but I do remember the purple packaging and I remember there was a dairy milk. Was it a medley that had all kinds of junk in it? Yeah. Different textures like cookie bits and uh, like different things in it. I loved it. Mm-hmm. This is good. Ma'am, when we don't get Cadbury chocolate for a while or, you know, fancy chocolate. Yeah. When we get it, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. Fruit and nuts. So, love nuts and my chocolate. Not so much of a big fan of fruit. What is there. the fruit? I want to know. It says on the back, dried grapes, otherwise known as raisins. Raisins. Mmm. So. Interesting that it just says dried fruit instead of, I mean, I understand that grapes are fruit, but I'm surprised it doesn't say like nuts and raisins. Right, right. Because when you say dried fruit, it makes me think that there's maybe a variety mm -hmm. or something like that. Interesting. Cadbury, you know better than I do though. Very good. I like it. Cadbury. Yes, Cadbury. I love Cadbury. 
All right. What next? You pick. Um. Well, we're gonna end on my end down here with, with the mint. All things mint. Yes, I put them close to me and close to my heart. What I'm really curious about. But that's orange. No, that's true. That's orange. Wait for we'll that. We'll get flavor. there. How about Milky Bar? Want to do Milky, Milky bar? bar? Let's do the Milky Bar. Milk is our number one ingredient. So that's good to know. Yeah. And doesn't surprise me coming from the UK. Right. Right. That's right. They're very particular about their ingredients, as they should be. Exactly. Oh, it just went, it, like, the, <laughs> it's so soft. Yeah. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Our viewers are always trying to get us to love white chocolate. Yeah. Because I think a lot of our viewers do. And we haven't ever. But when we get good quality white chocolate, it makes me like it a lot more. Right. As opposed to when I were, was a kid, let's say, and I would get an Easter bunny that was made of white chocolate. <laughs> that was maybe a dollar or something. You know, it wasn't the same. No, that's it's not good the same. quality. You can tell that it's good quality. I don't like it better than milk or dark chocolate. Right. But I like it better than some other white chocolate things we've tried. Yes, indeed. I it's agree. It's super. You know why it's called that. Yeah. It absolutely disintegrates and turns into a cream in your mouth. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Mm hmm. Uh, what next? Well. Oh my gosh. The Kit Kat bar, dark chocolate. Uh, wow. Double decker? Yeah, we've tried Dinky Decker. We tried yeah, the Double Decker. I know. Before. I, I, I've missed you. <laughs> Let's go this. You can't wait for the Whisper, I'm sure. <gasps> I didn't even see there was a Whisper. <laughs> oh yeah. We love that airy chocolate. That was one. <laughs> that was one of the first things too that we had that I was like, wait, <laughs> why don't we live in the UK? <laughs> right. That's right. We had a little um, accident. Man, you make that look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I wasn't even trying to do it like that. Okay, now I'm embarrassed. That was good. Mm-hmm. Describe it. Mmm. Chocolate. Mm-hmm. There's like a chocolate nougat. It's almost like Milky Way with Krispies. And then there's a layer with chocolate with rice kind of crispy bits. Mm-hmm. And this sort of thing is great for Laura because she can't have nuts. So mm -hmm. she always loves when companies put in you yes. know, some crunchy bits. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just plain old chocolate either. But... Yeah, I do miss that crunch. That's mm -hmm. what I love about that. It it does, it's not the exact same as like a Milky Way, but similar vibes. And then all that crunch. I love it. Yeah. Love it, love it. That's a winner. Okay. Let's do the bounty. I need to. Palette drink. Cleanse. Yeah. Two times bounty. What does that mean? There's two little bars in there. Oh, what is a bounty bar? Ooh. It's coconut, right? Yep. Yeah. It's like a mounds. Yeah. With dark chocolate. Are, is, are yeah. mounds? I almost couldn't say that sentence. Are, <laughs> are mounds bars dark chocolate? I believe so. Or milk chocolate? I can't remember. Internet Good sleuths, chocolate. let us know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Love that. Coconut. Mm-hmm. You know what this makes me want to have? What's that? The other half of it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well. That's yummy. It is chock full of big, huge chunks of coconut. Yum. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. We have another one. I know. I see it. I was kind of being funny, but we have a, we make a chocolate coconut pie.
pie, like a cream, coconut cream pie with chocolate yeah. crust and chocolate on the top and whatever. That makes me want to make one of those. Yeah. Yum. I would eat these all the time. Feel free all to send time. me. Feel free, free to send me more and more and more of those. Those are amazing. I'm glad we have another one. And what I'm curious about is what the Milky Way is in the UK. Oh yeah, here We're, I was talking about Milky Ways. Maybe it's completely different. I, yeah, I was talking I about is. like what I know a Milky Way to be. Yeah, the U.S. Milky Way. Uh huh. Which is Mars, I think, in the UK. And different than that, I can tell you by how it looks. Yeah. You know? Oh, I didn't hold it up for anybody. There you go. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Let's, ooh, whoa. There you go. I'm gonna like this, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Ready? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. It looks different though. It's just nougat on the inside and there isn't uh, the caramel. Oh. It's kind of like a Three Musketeers. The, but the nougat looks different. The nougat looks different. Yeah. Huh. All right. Ready? Yeah. Hmm. I never knew that Milky Way. Did I know this and I forgot? <laughs> I never knew that Milky Way was different. You didn't? Oh yeah. Or, yeah. I guess I knew it was different, but I guess I never put two and two together that it was. It didn't have the caramel like ours. Right. Has. Interesting. Mm -hmm. This is like a Three Musketeers, like a vanilla mm -hmm. Three Musketeers, because ours are chocolate. They used to have three different ones. They used yeah. to have uh, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. But now it's just chocolate, and they still call it Three Musketeers. Yum. Very good. I like that. Me too. Me oh, too. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Break open your whisper. Yes. And this is a four pack. I'm no. not hurt about that. Heck no. I wanted to take a bite of it, but then. Here, give me the little one. Then what? <laughs> you make fun of me. Why? It's because of you. I did not do it like that, or I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm just cheating. Oh my gosh. It just melts. Mm -hmm. Just disappears. Mm -hmm. Except for the flavor. Woo. Wispa is definitely, I mean, we've thought about before ranking our top favorite things from the UK. Mm -hmm. And we probably will. But that list is to. long. <laughs> It is. I mean, it, it all depends on what, what you, you're in the, mood for. in the mood for. Yeah. But anything with aerated chocolate, there is something that's aerated chocolate and caramel too. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of what that is right oh, now. Oh, Wisp of Gold. Oh yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. I love that one too. I mean, have I met I I, a oh. UK candy bar yet yeah. that I don't like? <laughs> I don't think so. I like Wisp of Gold better than just Wisp I love caramel. So... Those are good. You like the aerated chocolate though too, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That is I think a, you like it better than I like that's it. That's a winner. I yeah, that's a winner. I can't tell you exactly why that's different than regular chocolate. It just it's not as cloying maybe or I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I like it. I just do. I think you get more flavor from it, you know. It melts right away and mm -hmm. just like coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. and, Next up is Cadbury Dairy Milk. Is this plain chocolate? Yep. Nice. Yeah. We love that. And I like how they come in these little squares like this. Me too. And then you can have this whole bar and you can reseal it and then just have a square when you need one. Which is like every other second. <laughs> so good. That's so good. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I, 
See, I like that better than I like the Wispa, but not better than I like the Wispa Cold. Hmm. Gosh. I'm going to have to decide about that here soon. Mm -hmm. I don't like it better than Wispa. I don't, I mean, I like them both. Yeah, that's what, you like the air, I like them both too. You just Here's like the aerated was, stuff, but more than I like the aerated stuff. Yeah. Here's what I was thinking about. Soon the holidays will be here. I mean, they're here. What am I talking about? They're and here. And you know how, like, on a million different desserts, speaking of, like, the chocolate pie that I was just talking about. Yeah. It is a popular thing to take a Hershey's <laughs> <laughs> chocolate bar or some sort of chocolate bar. You know what I mean? And do the chocolate shavings. Yeah. We should save some UK chocolate for that. And like blow everybody away with our blow chocolate, their minds chocolate the desserts. Pets. Yes, we'll have to do that. And Very nice. the reason I'm telling you this is we need to mm. save some of this chocolate. Oh, so you're telling me not to eat it all. That's... Yes. Okay, next. Okay, this is the Cabaret Bourneville Classic Dark Chocolate. So, just like the dairy milk one, plain chocolate, but dark. Dark and I John loves dark. love dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes, love that pop right there. Here you go. And when I do, no, 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 Oops. let's split. No, no, no. And when I do eat dark chocolate, I like it with something like with the coconut or whatever. I'm not the biggest just eat a hunk of dark chocolate person. He is. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Pop it in the freezer. Get it all frozen. Mm -hmm. He loves it like Gobble that. Gobble it down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. I like it. I don't love it. I mean, I like it. As far as dark chocolate goes, it's amazing. Yes. I just prefer milk. I'll go get you a glass. If you were going to eat the rest of one of those two bars, which you're not, but if you were going to, the dark or the dairy milk, which yes. one would you choose? The dark. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. No question. Now you want to go Kit Kat? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then want to go Kit Kat. <laughs> hey, weird. Look, look how the wrapper goes this way. Oh. Instead of this way. Yeah. That's different. Mm-hmm. And the foil. See, I love this. Like the packaging reminds me of Kit Kats Gone By. Because yeah. You don't get the foil anymore. Yeah. Ours are in a yeah. thing like this, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Thank you. And... <laughs> I'm more inclined to like this. Because it comes with the cookie. Yeah, or yeah. like, you know, how I said, like the coconut, I'm more inclined to like dark chocolate like this with something. Mmm. Mm -hmm. We buy a lot of stuff for our channel. But if you looked inside of our candy dish, most of the time, like if we were to pick a candy that we just want to eat, we just want to enjoy that's not for the channel, Kit Kats are a likely suspect for that. Oh yeah. I like the dark chocolate with that. We we have dark chocolate Kit Kats here, but we don't usually get them. Like if we were gonna get Kit Kats, it's usually the milk chocolate. I've I never had a Kit Kat dark. I still never. think that the regular milk chocolate is the best. Like the original. 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 I wonder how much we're that way, and by we I mean everybody in the world. You tend to like the things that you grew up with. Mm -hmm. You know, like Kit Kat original versus any of the other Kit Kat flavors. Right. Where if we grew up in another country, maybe our, you know, like Japan, let's say, yeah, our where they grew up with a million kinds of Kit Kats to choose from. Um, Interesting. That is good. That is delicious. That's really good dark chocolate. It's kind of funny, like, uh, candies with dark chocolate, I'm kind of hit and miss on. If it's just regular, plain dark chocolate, mm -hmm. I'm very happy with that, you mm -hmm. know? But Kit Kats, original, I think, is the best. Mm -hmm. That's very good, though. It is. Delicious. Uh, okay, this. 
out of the entire box, this is what I'm most, I don't know about excited to try, is that the right word? Or intrigued by, maybe? Mm -hmm. Do you see? Let us know if you try these. These are Jaffa Jonuts. Jonuts. It says a new original. You know how we love all things Jaffa around here. Jaffa cakes, <laughs> great. Let's get the smell. Oh. Ooh, that's good. All right, due to the... Whoa. That's what ah. it looks like. I did not think it was gonna look like that. Due to the nature, I thought it was, it was like little I did ones. too. No, it's like a snack cake. Wow. You're gonna love this. This is a John thing, I can tell. Oh, He's yeah. gonna love this. Here it goes. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat it like that. <laughs> Ready? Go. Yeah. Mmm. That's good cake. With the chocolate on top is really good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Love the you orange. Know, normally when we see like a ganache or something on a cake, it's on chocolate. Yeah around here i don't know why we don't put it on more things and we love chocolate and orange together and we both like to bake and cook but we never make chocolate and orange why not i don't know we have got to get on that because we could make <clears throat> chocolate and orange but if we don't have the time or can't or whatever that is a great like i'm i'm glad that you all can run to the store and get it we can't the one, th the, the orange flavor in the cake is really good. The chocolate on it is great. The one thing that I miss though, out of like Jaffa cakes, is the orange jam that's in there. Mm. You know, or the flavored jam. That would be great to have that in there somehow. Mm. Like a filled donut? Yeah. Mm. I think that's perfect the way that it is. Mm. The orange is super prominent and it's a natural flavor instead of you know, artificial orange tasting, and it's just the right amount of chocolate for me. Oh yeah. I, I wouldn't want the chocolate more. Is perfect. I wouldn't want less. It's perfect. Let us know if you have tried those yet. Those are amazing. That's a winner. That's, yeah, that is definitely a winner. I love those. Now to the good stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Now to the mint. Um, to the mint. These are toppies, so maybe we'll do those last. Arrow. And this is delightful peppermint delightful peppermint we have had a mint i think before on the arrow those are I'm good i'm so woo i'm so curious when something says mint this says peppermint so i don't mean this but sometimes things say mint yeah what does that mean well, is it peppermint know. or spearmint or a mixture or what yeah this we know it's peppermint and look Look at that green. Wow. It looks like Grinchy green. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, this is airy. Yeah. Let's do it. I think we had something like this either in Canada or from Canada. Mm -hmm. Maybe, right? Yeah. We had an arrow from Canada. I can't remember what flavor though. We did not get mint when we went to Canada because I remember I found out after we got home that there was mint and I was like, Ugh! <laughs> Water. Mm-hmm. Oh man. That's good. That's a good mint. We don't know each other well. <laughs> but um on Christmas morning, I've usually I mean, let's be honest, I'm usually a good girl. Christmas morning in my stocking, there's normally all things mint and gummy and fruity too. But man that's amazing. I can't think of another chocolate and mint thing that I like better than that. Andy's mints, all the all the other stuff, Junior mints, and all the other things that I eat that's mint yeah. and chocolate. I cannot think of something that I like better than that. It sounds like so she's sad. putting in a request to Santa. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That's 10. 10. That's a 10. <laughs> Love it. It is a really good mint flavor, but also the texture is just so, I don't know. <clears throat> it's very good. Oh, 
This is a. I was thinking. Yeah. Happy. Ooh, this are hard. Interesting, a mint toffee. I've never heard of this before. Me neither. Cheers. <laughs> no, we've got time for that. We'll be here forever chewing on this thing. What's this company? Walkers. 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 Oh my gosh. We've mm. had this brand before. Natural mint flavoring. Mm-hmm. I love the packaging. Somebody's flying a kite. Somebody's driving a delivery truck. Birds are flying. <laughs> There's a little doggy living his best life. Very cute. I'm not getting a lot of mint from it, but I think that's because we ate the arrow right Well, before. I took a drink between, there's a whisper of mint, but yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want it overpowering. It's not a mint candy. It's a, you know, toffee with mint, I think. Yeah. Hmm. I love the texture too. Mm-hmm. It was good. Mm-hmm. You know what we don't have enough of in our country? What's that? Toffee. Yeah. Mmm. Yum. That's a winner. Okay. It sure is. Get to ranking. Now oh, my jaw hurts. Wow, this is a lot of stuff to rank. Mm hmm I guess I gotta pick out what my favorite thing out of the whole, th whole bunch would be first. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, that's difficult. Mm hmm That's really difficult. Mm hmm Um... I can't say anything other than mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it's new. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Were you saying something? No. All right. <laughs> uh, because it's new, I'm going to pick the Joe Nut. Really? Number one. And it was good. Not just because it was new. Topic. Milky Way. Mm. Bounty was so good. I'm going to go with the dark chocolate next. Bounty, plain milk chocolate, Wispa. Oh boy, what? How did I leave out the double decker out of this part here? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put the double decker in front of the Wispa. Um, Kit Kat, Arrow. Uh, well, that's another Wispa. Boy, but what about these? Come on, we can't do this. This is impossible. Um, I guess I'll put these in front of the arrow. I'm not gonna be able to talk with that toffee in my mouth. And uh, I guess that's it. That's a that's a lot of ranking. Woo! Jonuts, topic, Milky Way, Warrenville, Bounty, uh, Dairy Milk, Double Decker, Wispa. Kit Kat. There you go. You can see the rest. Nice. Okay. And this isn't a love and hate type thing. This is a love and just love a little bit less. So, <laughs> you know. And it's all subjective. So. This hey, is where did you get that line from? <laughs> That's what I'm wanting to know. My all right. favorite YouTuber. All right, all right, all right. Aw. Okay, take out the stuff I couldn't eat. Mm, this, the fruit okay. and nut. I couldn't Topic. try that. You couldn't try that. All right. I'm going to give you some room here. Mm -hmm. This is going to go end-ish, which is good because at the end of your list was this stuff and at the end of my list is this. Yeah. So you can feel free to eat the dark chocolate. Not that I dislike it, but you know. This wasn't my favorite thing. I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See? You it's know? difficult. Um. My top three things are the Mint Arrow, the Double Decker, de Double Decker, and the Wispa. Oh, but that too. <laughs> well, you better start placing. But which down one is somewhere. my favorite? <laughs> you know what makes me excited about this is that I have hopes that we can find these here. We can find 
arrow yeah. every once in a while. So I have hopes that we'll be able to find it. But I'm not always in the mood for mint. Whisper number one. It feels nostalgic to me. And I know it's not from my childhood, but it feels like one of the first things I fell in love with from the UK. Like yeah. I, I feel like I'm starting to have nostalgia with it. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel like it's an old favorite, an old mm -hmm. friend. Um, then Arrow, then Double Decker. Trust me when I say, give me any of those any day and I'm a happy, happy, happy girl. Um, I think the Milky Bar is probably, no, oh, let me go with this. Just because dark chocolate is not, it's just not my favorite. I don't dislike it, but just dark chocolate is just not my favorite. So that's mm -hmm. going to go at the end. Same thing about white chocolate. It's just not, I don't, I just don't like it as much as these. Okay. But I'm in a real situation. You're in a real pickle. I am in a real situation. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to have to edit all of this out of the video. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I really love the coconut. I really love this. I really, I really love this. I really love it all. I'm going to move Kit Kat to here just because we can't get Kit Kats here. And now I want to try a Kit Kat Dirk from here because I never have. Yeah. And one, you know, I wonder how different it is. And we have another one so we could compare it. That's nice. Um, there, that's my order. There I don't you know go. if I'm happy about it, <laughs> but that's my order. Close enough. You know, sometimes <clears throat> we review things. You could look back in an old review and maybe Wispa wasn't my attack. You know, like one mm -hmm. day you might be really into something more than another day. Um, I don't, I don't know. That Wispa has hit me a little different today. I'm loving it. <laughs> so nice. anyway, that's very good. That's my order. Let us know in the comments what your order would be or on what, any yeah, of this. What your, your favorite. favorite or least favorite or whatever. Philip, amazing job. This was super exciting, super fun. We haven't done one of these in a really long time. We squealed like little kids when we saw we had yeah. PO packages again. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Don't forget to come find us on social media if you haven't already. Our links are in the channel banner. We That's have right. a TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, come find us. Uh, also, we have a game channel if you're interested in that sort of thing. We've been putting up mostly video games, but also adding to the channel. We're going to do, if you've ever watched us go live where we have an interactive, you know, talking like more party game type thing we're going to be doing that over there and some dice and card and board games too so i'll put a link to that down in the comments if you're interested yep now what now if you like yeah go on you say something uh if you like uh wonderful people that send you things <laughs> yeah, having the best <laughs> subscriber friends in the world. We yes. think of you as our family, as we like to call it, you know, your friends that become family. You know, we were talking the other day how there could come a time where we don't hear from one of you. Yeah. And and, and that has happened. And we're like, wait, we haven't heard from so-and-so. And then you, yeah. you'll you pop up later and say, I, you know, I moved or this happened or that happened. And we think... Oh, thank God, because we were yeah, so worried. Yeah, did we lose them? We, what yeah, happened we, to them? Are they okay? Yeah, we, we do worry about you. So, anyways, it's nice to have that kind of relationship. And I hope that you feel that way about us. We yeah, care about absolutely. you. Absolutely. We absolutely do. Uh, now, like John said, if you like that, or chocolates and treats oh. and snacks and crispy bits from the UK. Yes, I do. Or us. Or the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See That's you next it, time. Bye. Bye.